success story with the engine. Very simple thing really, it was just like a wire off at the back of the ignition. So uh, that's why there was absolutely nothing going on at all when you turned the key. Uh, I may well have caught it with a piece of timber when I was doing some woodwork on the boat. I'm not too sure, but uh, probably the sort of thing I'd do, uh, you know. Uh, no disasters there anyway, you know, it's uh, running like a baby again. Well, like not really a baby, that's not the right word. Uh, More like an elderly lady. Oh yeah. No, no, She's no, quite no. old, isn't she? No, the engine's not. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, or an elderly lady with a hip replacement. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, all good on the engine front. Uh, I'm making porthole covers and curtains. Um, I am changing the way they hang. I want to hang them on eyelets instead, um, on the top and bottom pole, rather than tucking the material behind that bottom pole. Um, I don't like the way they sit, so I will be changing that style, and I might actually change the material. <laughs> um, I have seen some beautiful material that I've got on order, so they may change over the next coming vlogs anyway, but you will see them regardless. My first attempt at making curtains up in this vlog. So I've just painted um, a second coat of the chalkboard. Um, I used, oh, slightly rocky there. <laughs> a bit seasick. Um, I used a different paint. It, this side, um, I, I used on both sides, um, the Vasilevium um, one, or oh, primer, the same as what I did underneath the baton. Just wasn't sitting right as a chalkboard. So I've actually gone and got uh, chalkboard paint, let me show you. And I'm, te I'm, I'm really, there, chalkboard paint, only one coat. I'll tell you what, it's done a great job. I don't know if you can see that, how matte that has dried already. And on the wall. I wouldn't mind bringing the lights over here, so I can probably get a light for filming them for me as well. So yeah, you can get the light. Yeah, I've got the tripod. I've got my, it's not secure <sighs> yet, but a piece of my artwork on the wall there. Blending in the colours with the cushions. Um, You may have noticed a tattoo on Paul's arm. Show you a tattoo. Oh. You may have noticed that tattoo before. Well, I don't know, I've always been too cold to have sunny. a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. uh, he is now down here with us. There's our Sonny that we lost in yeah. lost him in February last year, obviously. Now I've got this one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, glutton for punishment, isn't it, they say? Uh, blackboard underway upon reflection done. Now to get on with the rest of my slogans and whatnot. That was a bit of a laugh, just decided to uh, <laughs> actually turn the main water on so and the main water pump, try out the new tap, but I uh, totally forgot that I only connected it underneath by just by hand tightness, <laughs> so obviously turned it on and the water <laughs> shot out everywhere, so we've now done it with the spanner, so let's see if it works. Yeah. So, hello. I don't know. <laughs> movement. Nothing's working. You have to go like that. Oh wow. Come on. How about oh, that? Wow. That's pretty, pretty More, magnificent. Oh yeah. What are you doing there then? More brownie points. Just pull this trigger, look. What can't even see a trigger? You can actually unclip that and all, I think. Oh, okay. What, yeah, so you to put the sink on? Yeah, put it to like a gun. No, no. Oh, like that? Yeah, what are you doing? Put it like a gun. gun? Oh, yeah. Why are you I've putting it? Oh, why yeah, are you going that way? Yeah, look. Quite a bit of power. Yeah, look at yeah. the power in there. Good, isn't it? Quite a bit of power. Yeah, that is quite a lot of power. That's me thinking it wouldn't work on our pump. Is the pump going off? It must be, because otherwise the water wouldn't work. 
Oh, you mean turn it? Oh, going off. Let's have a look, Burns. So that will dried out in there. Off, yeah, and the water pump's even turning itself off because it has been a bit temperamental. One thing I noticed you haven't connected this yet, you what? know that, don't you? Yeah, no, I know yeah. that. Yeah, so don't can't that's only the overflow. overflow, isn't it? No, you wouldn't fill up a full sink at the moment. No, just use the basin. Da, da, da. Why have you got a torch on when we've got because I'm going to connect up, lights. let's tighten up the uh, hot one. Oh, right. Making the most of it. Stopping the rain. It's been right this morning. Ernie! Uh -oh. <laughs> Ernie, he's a good boy. I love it, Mum. <laughs> I don't know, it carries on through. Yeah. That's not a road, is it? Yeah. Oh, is that the main road? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's enough, yeah. Who knows, Burns, eh? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what's beyond? Who knows? Who knows? Curled up into a ball, trying to dry himself off. Him getting so wet led to boat zoomies, which is a first. He's not had boat zoomies yet, so he was charging from here into the bedroom, up onto the bed, and back again. About eight times at full speed. So that, that was fun for him. So I'm glad now we've got that fire guard in front of the fire and roped off. So, because um, he probably would have done himself a bit of a mischief there. Right, um, okay. Yeah. We're fitting the Victron power charger uh, today. So what I've done so far is I've passed the black wire through, obviously to the negative, and I've passed from inside the red cable obviously to the positive i've done it on opposites um apparently it doesn't really matter too much so i can do it that way um and then really the rest of the work will be inside so it literally was a case of i've made up these cables with crypto properly there uh and we've used a shrink sleeve there so it's quite a nice professional job and it's just a case of tightening them into position and the rest will carry on inside. Okay, lovely. Are you helping, Hans? Are you helping? Yeah? What are you doing now? Just putting some screws in to <laughs> take the box. Take the box? Yeah. Oh, your Victron box? Yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to go there. Put it that height there, so I've got a fuse, a small fuse box that goes. So it'll be somewhere around about here that suits. Okay. Or possibly here, something like that. That's why I've left a bit of room there, that's why it's quite relatively high up. So I'll just show you the fuse. What's this part? So, uh, so that's the wire coming in from outside, we're just connected to the battery. Uh, and there's a, it's a very simple fuse box there. And then this will carry on into the main box itself. And this is what we're using. Boost Smart Charger. It's really, really quite handy to see what percentage our batteries yeah, have got, isn't it? Yeah, considering we haven't And really it, does it, it keeps it charged all... Yeah. So when we're plugged into 240 volt, does it yeah. help charge this thing up yeah, and then so charge when you're up? Yeah, when you're on shoreline. shoreline, this should keep the batteries in really good condition and uh, at the ultimate charge that they should be. So, okay. So this panel just comes off. <laughs> it did earlier. <laughs> ah, there we go. All fingers and thumbs. So you've got three outlets. You can obviously our batteries are already connected together, so it seemed pointless going with a brand new connection from battery to battery to battery. So that's why I've only picked up on one battery out there for the negative, one battery for the positive, because they are already connected. So any one of these. So there's 
there's three positives to buy. We've got an, we've got an extra two spare, by the way. It's worked out. Uh, and there's a negative connection, so but I'm going to put the box on the wall um, with those already connected, um, and then connect up the fuse box in place, and then plug in, and then hopefully the missus will be able to connect to her phone. Silly question. In one of those outlets that you're saying is yeah. fair, could you plug the solar panel to see how much so we could then access how much charge the solar panel is doing or is that a completely different circuit in kettle of fish? It's not so much the question, it's the person you ask, you sort of ask, have asked, have asked, like, yes. Oh. yes, so, so um, possibly we could look into that, yeah. Yeah, possibly because it, it'd that. be interesting yeah. to see how much yeah. the... Solar panel, because now they're saying... Oh, how much input's coming in from the solar panel? Yeah, that's oh. what, yeah. Well, we would have to get a multimeter to do that. You can read that. Or there might be other ways of doing it. Yeah, I'm sure and Victor will do that kit thing, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they might do something like that, yeah. Okay. Right, let's get my screwdrivers. Right, this is it. She's all on the wall. Fuse box is there, the little tiny fuse box. And we're plugged in over here just for the minute. Oh, right down by the lake. Yeah, Perfect. right down by the <laughs> central heating cylinder. Good idea. Right, so this is it. Do you want to turn it on? No, you can do it. I'm not touching it. Oh, right, okay. Well, right, I'm ready? just going to stand back a little bit. Right, okay, let's go. You, you stay down there so I can see it. Right. It comes on. One, two, three. <sighs> nothing. Nothing. No lights or nothing. Oh, oh, I've got lights, we've got lights, we've got lights. We've got lights. <laughs> we've got lights. Right, okay, I don't know what happens now. This is where the wife takes over. Well, so it's she's, working now, is it? Right, so you need to uh, go to the App Store and download the Victron Connect. Open that up. You will need your Bluetooth on and you will need to be near your device that you just installed and it will find it. It obviously won't find mine because I'm not on the boat right now. So I will go into demo mode. So you find your device, the IP22. We've got the 30 amp 3 charger one. And it comes up with this screen here. It'll tell you what status it is. So it's at bulk charge at the moment, which I will explain what that means. It's got a graph which tells you how many cycles it's been in and whether it's in float, storage mode and history. Um, it shows you how many cycles has been done. It took about an hour and 40 minutes for our um, charger to, well, from our batteries to be nothing to fully charged. So that's really, really good. We were really impressed with that. So the bulk um, charge, the battery has been charged fully. Um, and then you have other ones as well. So um, if you go to your actual box that's on the wall, um, it will tell you on the app as well. Um, ABS, which is ABS, LED, that's when it has moved into the absorption stage. Um, so bulk storage is now complete at that point and your battery is it is about 80% charged um, When it goes into float um, That is moving to float so that means it's actually complete and it, your battery will be fully 100% charged and ready to be um, used storage is another one um, Which is that goes into is maintaining the battery level so it's not still charging it it's, it's keeping the battery level at the correct amount of continuous charge he's not too sure oh they're fighting <laughs> put their wings up make yourself look more aggressive then. oh Don't really know. He doesn't know swans yet, probably. <laughs> He's not sure yet. He's not sure. He's not sure. He's not too sure. Good boy, Ernie. Good boy, Ernie. Good boy. They won't touch her. Good boy. It's 
scared, eh, Ernie? Ernie? On a journey? Who's a bit scared? Who's a scaredy cat? Who's a scaredy cat, eh? Ernie, you scared? You scared? <gasps> That's a young one behind you there. He's only a year old, Ernie. I think it's his birthday next Friday. But they're finding their... I love it when they do that. Yeah. Hot, yeah. Chalkboard is nearly done. So we've got the YouTube name up there. A uh, couple of quotes. The greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Um, every day is a journey and the journey itself is home. You can't see that one. Hang on. That's probably one of my favourite. The way it's... I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that one? Down the bottom here. Um, so yeah, this side is looking good. The other side, I was... Um, I started doing work on it going really okay really well and then I realized I've made a big mistake Batten. we're having all the way down just, just to separate it and because we've got the button this side so let me show you what I did the other side this side I have just done it's always tea time so that and then it goes into it's always tea time it curves around the window have you noticed it yet before I'm going to point it out to you what I've done yes I've gone right up to this here so the baton is going to be sitting there <laughs> so I've got to go off I've got to rub it all back out but if you've noticed don't worry it's not as bad as what it looks <laughs> uh, it's just a cut I cut it on cardboard, believe it or not, when I was whipping up some cardboard for the fire and it slipped my thumb open. Um, again, that sounds worse than what it is. It's just a cut. But Paul went out this morning to Tesco to get some um, plaster for me because it was going red, so I, that infection and whatnot. Um, so he got um, went out and got some antiseptic spray to put on and then I asked for plasters. And he brings home literally like that wine plaster i said Phew. so I, it's wrapped around about three times so it makes it look a lot worse than what it is so it's fine i'm not dying well i'm not dying of a cut thumb so give us a thumbs up if you like our videos i decided to paint the baton the same as the wall colors and i've also painted the behind the shelves the other side the same as the wall so i think the ornaments stand out a little bit better I'm well pleased with this this side of tiling i'm looking forward to the opposite side there's even more cuts to do but um yeah really pleased with the result so far it's just got to be grand on that side and then it's completely finished all worthwhile hard day work on the boat and then lovely log burner going and cuddles for my baby boy can't get much better than it can it hmm. <laughs> you okay Ernie are you no, comfortable, comfortable? No, I don't he is. He is. Hmm. loves it don't you Here's a few pictures of how the black chalkboards turned out. Uh, the writing is underway. I was going to do a to-do list on it. I know I said that, but here we go. Here's my to-do list. Um, I think I'd need a new boat with additional walls if I did my to-do list on the wall. So I might just print a to-do list and put it on the pegs or something instead of actually writing it in chalk. Um, so, yes. Hopefully I've made the right decision there. So I'm going to show you a few more pictures um, of the boat. So we've got the wall shelves that I painted, the batten on the wall, new rug in, curtains up, uh, tiling done in the kitchen on one side, just on that side there, um, artwork on the walls. So quite a lot of progress made. Um, we obviously fixed the fire as well did the water, the taps, and um, connected our gas cooker. So all in all, a really good weekend for progress. 
So that's it from us this week. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Next week we are hoping to take him out on a little quiz. Um, although Ernie sounds like he doesn't want to do that. Um, so if you see us, give us a wave or avoid us. It would be a good idea. Um, wish us luck. Bye.